So let's talk about being a sexually disciplined man and what that means. Now, before I do, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the video, make sure to like the video and uh, make sure to share. I really appreciate it. I don't want you to miss any of the awesome content. So let's dive on in. What does it mean to be a sexually disciplined man? Well, this is a term that's being used all over the internet today. A lot of people are watching this and it has a lot to do with uh, no fap, no masturbation and uh, not watching porn anymore. And at a deeper level, the way I see it, it has a lot to do with not letting sex control you not letting sex be the thing that leads you through life as a man. When you look at women, do you constantly crave sex? Do you constantly want sex? Do you constantly want their bodies? Do you let this control you? This is something that's controlled me for many years. Even after I became a dating coach, it got worse actually. When I first became a dating coach, I was taught by the first company I actually worked for and trained for that let's get women into bed as fast as possible because that gives you a lot of power. And we were out chasing women like crazy, trying to pick up on women. And honest truth is I believe that made my life worse. See, today I'm very picky about who I sleep with. I take my time to move towards sex, but that's because I've cultivated this sexual discipline. I stopped masturbating. I stopped watching porn. I didn't mean to do it, actually. It's kind of weird. A lot of people do it as a practice. As I've been releasing, letting go, doing energetic embodiment, I've been wanting more energy in my body. I've been wanting to feel more alive and have more passion and be healthier. And it just kind of happened naturally. I thought about the idea kind of meditated on the idea and I kept releasing and, and pulling energy into my body to give myself more energy, more courage for life. And because I, I knew that that was a waste of a lot of energy. The next thing I started to do was think about and look at women out there. And I started to say, can I let go of my, because I'd walked in the street and I'd feel my energy get pulled. I started to feel it more and more towards women. And I feel this sense that I got to have her. I want to meet her. And I realized that was ruining my life. Because see, ultimately inside, I wanted a really deep relationship, a connected relationship of the heart. But I'm constantly being pulled by these beautiful women. It makes it really hard to commit to a girlfriend. It was tough on relationships. I wanted to be an open relationship. I wanted to be a non-monogamous relationship. And as, I, as I've gotten older, I don't want any of that anymore. I want peace. I want an amazingly happy life. So I started letting go on my attraction to women. I started using letting go. If you haven't seen my previous video on letting go, check it out. And and I started letting go and doing embodiment on my attraction to women. And it was powerful. The truth is it was powerful. As I let them go more and more, I started to feel how much energy was being drained by them, how much I was giving away, how much it was pulling me. And I think this happens to a lot of men. And as I started to reclaim that energy, I naturally stopped watching porn. I naturally stopped masturbating kind of on my own. And it was really interesting. I felt the energy rising in my body more and more and more. The next thing I did is I started running the energy because I, I believe in embodiment a lot. And I, energetic embodiment, we started running the energy up my spine more. So the energy would build down in my turn on, down in my hips. And I'd feel that turn on starting to build. And I started to practice, because I knew the tantrics did this, of working my energetic embodiment in my hips and then driving energy up the spine, just rocking it, driving it, grounding into the ground, driving the energy up my spine. And I started to really feel this power in my body. Next thing I know, I'm starting to wake up at the crack of dawn. I, I woke up this morning at 5.30 without an alarm, so easy. It was like ridiculous. This, this energy, I couldn't believe how much energy I was draining to this in my life, how much I was giving away. The next thing that happened was amazing is a lot of women start noticing me. They start looking at me and I talk to them because I'm not attached to them anymore. I don't chase them anymore. I don't need them anymore. I can walk away. I look at them they and I can feel like almost their energy. Instead of me chasing them energetically, they come into me and I feel this sense they sink into me and they get curious and they start leaning towards me. And then I get to be more of a chooser at that point. And that was really a powerful realization. The peace of mind that came from this as I started to do this more and more was amazing. Things in my body started healing that I've been dealing with for years. Um, it sounds weird, but I have some varicose veins on my left leg and they're getting less, you know, as, as, I, as I get more energy in my body, all my, uh, my remaining gut and bladder issues seem to be just vanishing. They're pretty much vanished. And uh, I just got healthier and healthier. 
So I can't speak enough to everybody about this. I'm not saying you should never orgasm again. I should not saying you shouldn't have, I'm definitely not saying you shouldn't have sex with women. It's because that's what it's really about. It's about at this point when I'm with a woman, I can fully be present for her. I can fully let her in. I can fully enjoy her. Now think about this for a minute. Why are so many men having trouble with women today? Well, I think it has a lot to do with this. You see, the porn industry is a $13 billion industry. We can access women really quickly, just hop on the laptop and there's porn right there. You can go from girl to girl to girl and you don't have to deal with a breakup. You don't have to have any real connections. You don't have to have any real entanglements. You can let all that go. But this also leads to a lot of lonely men that don't know how to talk to women. They're drained from masturbating all the time. They don't have any energy. They don't have drive. The women can feel their lack of purpose, passion, and turn on. And then when they get in front of the women, they're, they, they're afraid to connect. They're afraid to go deeper. They're afraid to really let her in, which is what she's craving to be intimate with you. So is the problem out there really all the women? I'm not saying it's not. I'm not saying there aren't women out there in this modern day age that have changed. But I'm also saying that we have changed a lot too. It's, you know, there's two sides to a coin, law of polarity. And as you start to reclaim your power as a man, you know, letting all women go, that was a popular video for me. You're gonna start to really see a difference in the way not just women relate to you, but the world relates to you because more energy is gonna be in your body, you're gonna be more alive. And especially if you can start learning to circulate that energy, and start to get some a little bit about what they call multi-orgasmic where you instead of orgasming through coming you orgasm through your body and you really let that energy fly up your spine and stuff like that i'm not saying you have to do that all the time either but it's a great option to have if you want to do it i can't say more than enough good things about this and how much it's helped me in my life how much it's grown my life how much it's moved me into more feeling and actually for a while there was a lot of emotions coming up that I couldn't even get to from letting go before that now I was able to get to because they were coming up because of all the extra energy and now I was able to face them, open them and clean them up. And that was huge too because some of the deepest stuff I didn't know was still down there came up from this. And uh, that really changed my life. Now, on top of that, there's many other things we do to distract, right? You might just go on Instagram and look at pretty girls on Instagram. You might be going out and drinking alcohol. There's so many other things that I have also let go of to improve this area of my life. But becoming sexually disciplined was huge. It wasn't just about not masturbating and not doing no fab. It was about letting go of my addiction to women's bodies. Now I can enjoy them. I can see them. They're beautiful. I can have a heart for them, but I can take it or leave it. And that gives me a lot more power with women, with life and with relationship. It allows me to say, you know what? I really want to let you in and I want to be with you. And that's huge. Okay. So hopefully you like this video. Hopefully you got a lot of value out of it. I definitely want to hear a comment. I don't care what you comment about. Are you doing this? Do you want to try this? Do you want to understand more? Do you want me to do a video on the microcosmic orbit and driving the energy through the spine, which I've just been figuring out through the energetic letting go? Do you want me to do a video on energetic uh, embodiment itself? Whatever you're interested in, let me know because all of that played a huge role into me naturally developing this and causing huge changes in my life. So with that said, make that comment. I appreciate it. Definitely watch my previous video on letting go, the basics of letting go. We'll put that in here somewhere. And if you want to look it up, I have a really good video on letting all women go, which was a really popular video of the past. Now, I think that's it. Now, with that said, remember, true courage leads to true happiness. I'll see you in the next video.